Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 190. We actually got two words today. We got both beefcake and cheesecake. And the reason uh, we do have two is because they are connected to each other. Okay, anybody want a screenshot? Take it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone calls a man a beefcake, which is common, you still hear this today, it is, usually refers to an attractive young man with a lot of muscles, especially one who is topless in photos or films, exposing their chest, or six-pack, you know, when they get those muscles uh, on their abdomen there, those six-pack, uh, as well. All right, let's continue. Um, the origin of the term beefcake is related to cheesecake, uh, so it kind of came from that. Uh, and of course, here in this article, when we're talking about beefcake and cheesecake, we're not talking about food. We're talking about sexy men and sexy women. Uh, used for sexy women in photographs, that are scantily clad, you know, so not wearing that much clothes. Uh, however, the use of cheesecake for women was originally British uh, and dates back to the mid 1600s to refer to an overly sexy female. However, the use of cheesecake seemed to come back in the early 1900s. According to one story, a photographer named James Kane was taking pictures of a young, attractive model for the New York Journal, okay? Suddenly, a breeze blew up the skirts, uh, the skirt, and Kane, who supposedly loved cheesecake, um, you know, exclaimed, this is better than cheesecake, okay? And the term was reborn. Then they started to refer to very sexy girls as cheesecake, and it supposedly took off from this. But let's continue. In the 1940s, um, Hollywood started to realize topless, muscular men in movies were a big hit with women. They say a lot of cameramen started to refer to these men as beefcakes from the idea of cheesecake for women. So women were cheesecake, men were beefcake. Okay. Uh, the columnist Sidney Scolosi, Scolosi is credited with popularizing this term while describing the actor Guy uh, Madison. Okay, so uh, once he got it in the newspaper, then it, then it started taking off and the public picked it up. Okay, and we just have several examples of how you may hear it used. That jeans company hired a lot of beefcake models to advertise their jeans. Yeah, they're probably wearing the jeans and they're, you know, they're topless and showing off all their muscles on top to try to show how, you know, sexy you might look wearing their jeans. Uh, number two, they uh, purposely put some beefcake actors in this movie for eye candy. Yeah, I did another video that had something to do with eye candy, too. We, we sometimes say that for both attractive men or attractive women that are sometimes put in movies, you know, just for their good looks. Okay. Number three, that actor is not just a beefcake. He has real acting talent, so he's not, he's not just there to look handsome or pretty. Uh, he has some good acting ability as well. Okay, number four. Uh, in the 1940s and 1950s, they had a lot of cheesecake models to be, uh, you know, to be pinup models for posters, especially during the wartime. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.